People tend to overlook the thumbnail image and make one right before uploading, but a great looking YouTube thumbnail should be planned out ahead of time. You want to make sure you're selecting a simple thumbnail background, a strong video title, and a clear thumbnail font. Hey this is Nick from Snappa and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos using customizable free templates. So let's get right into it. What you want to do first is make sure that you have the best YouTube thumbnail photo size so that your image is optimized for YouTube's guidelines. The recommended YouTube thumbnail dimensions are 1280 by 720 pixels. This is an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Also note that your image should also be under 2 megabytes in size and be within these file formats to meet YouTube's guidelines. Using Snappa, we can easily make a custom YouTube thumbnail photo for free. Instead of adding in the YouTube thumbnail dimensions that we mentioned earlier, we can just scroll down and click on the YouTube thumbnail size. From here, we can choose to create a YouTube thumbnail design from scratch, or we can choose from a variety of pre-designed thumbnail templates that Snappa offers. The best YouTube thumbnails have personalized images, so a good tip is to choose a template before you record a video and figure out what photos you need so that you can create a great looking thumbnail. All of these thumbnail designs can be repurposed to suit your needs, and since we do more how-to videos, we're going to select this thumbnail template here. Once in, I'm going to start by editing the thumbnail text, so I'll double-click on the text here. I'll edit the text to my liking. I'm going to resize the text and extend the text box just a bit. I'm also going to move the logo down so that it doesn't interfere with the thumbnail title. So when choosing a thumbnail font, you want to make sure that you're using a font style that is bold yet simple. You want to pick a font that will stand out from afar. And luckily, Snappa's font library offers all the fonts you need. I even outlined the best YouTube thumbnail fonts in a recent blog post that I will link in the video description below. So once I've chose my font, the next thing I want to do is to brand the thumbnail image to fit my video. So I'm going to start by changing the icon as well as the colors. To change the icon, I'm going to start by clicking on it and deleting it. From here, I'll navigate to the Graphics tab, and I'll search the Icons library for the icon of choice, so I'll type in YouTube. From here, I'll select the logo that I like. Once I have that, it's going to be placed in the center of the graphic. I'm going to resize it, and then reposition it to where I want it to be. So the next thing I want to do is change the color so it's a bit more cohesive. So I'll click on the backdrop here. From here, I'll change the fill from white to, let's say, a black. I'm going to click on my font, navigate to the color picker, and change my font color from black to white. Then I'm going to navigate to the design element up here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to change the color from pink to red so that it fits kind of with the YouTube logo. Once I have this done, I'm going to hold shift and click all the design elements. And I'm going to shift them slightly down a bit. So once I have everything in place, all I need to do now is personalize the image. So I'm going to click on this image here and delete it. From here, I'll navigate to my Graphics tab. I'll navigate to my Uploads tab. And I'll click on the image that I uploaded. Once it's on the canvas, I'm going to reposition it, resize it as well. And then I'm actually going to move this layer all the way to the back. So another cool layout you can use for the YouTube thumbnail is to create text on one side and then you can actually remove the background in your image and place it in on the right side. So I actually use a simple tool called Remove Background to remove the background out of the image and from there I'll download the image and upload it into Snappa. Once it's in, I just click on it within the Uploads tab and then I can easily resize it and reposition it on the right side. So once I'm done editing my YouTube thumbnails, I'm going to click, rename it, and then save it to Snappa so that I can make changes in the future. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to click on the download button and save it as a Retina JPEG. Now it'll save to your desktop and you are good to upload it into YouTube once you upload your video. So in order to upload your YouTube thumbnail into YouTube, you're going to have to upload a video. So we'll navigate to the top right of YouTube. We'll click Upload Video. Once you've selected the file that you want to upload into YouTube, click Open. As the YouTube video is uploading, you can edit your title, add a description, and here you see a thumbnail section. 
So we'll click on upload thumbnail. We'll then navigate to wherever we downloaded our thumbnail from Snappa. Click on it and then open. Once the video is uploaded, you'll have a custom thumbnail. So that's it for today's design tutorial. If you're looking for more information about YouTube thumbnails, be sure to check out our blog post that I linked below in the video description. Also be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're looking for more videos related to YouTube or any other social media platforms in general. I'll see you guys all in the next one.